Hi guys. Hi. 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 We are now at Kalamunda Coles car park. So those who know the bib know that this is the northern terminus to the bib track. Um, and we're off for four days, except for this one in the middle here. She's piped out. <laughs> <laughs> But that's okay, she might give us a surprise somewhere along the line or give us a beer at the end. And a lovely breakfast this morning. Yeah, there she did go. cook us breakfast, so yeah. we will forgive her this time. <laughs> yeah. So it's down to just the two of us, Muddy Boots and myself. And yeah, we're going to hit the trail for four days. Awesome. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> gonna hurt it's gonna hurt because it's the beginning of the season and we have not yet spent a lot of time with our packs on but that's okay we're, we're just gonna go out take it easy and have some fun we are and I'll be thinking of you <laughs> on the couch <laughs> as long as it's with a glass of red that's fine okay just no no you. no cold beer oh one of the two I'll have both <laughs> just don't send us photos of it <laughs> okay we're off bye bye, bye. So this is the northern terminus to the Bibbulmun Track. And for those who don't know the Bibbulmun Track, it's uh, 1,003 kilometers starting here in Kalamunda and ending in Albany in our southwest. Now, we're having the, the actual start of photos. Oh, you need me? She just wants my beautiful face. <laughs> So the northern terminus they've actually renovated from what it used to be and it's a lot better now it, it looks really nice so that was complete in 2017 i know that because it was the end of my end to end full end to end of the bibbon track and i finished here in the northern terminus um unfortunately the day i walked in here they had fencing all the way around so i was a bit peeved at that but hey it's they've done an amazing job so up at the northern terminus most people park their cars there at Coles car park um, and from here when people finish from here they go down to the information center which is probably about 800 meters or 500 meters down the road um, and they can ring the bell and sign in. So you ready, Muddy Boots? Muddy Boots ready. How far in are we? Oh, I'll tell you. Not quite two k's. And there's a seat! Yes! That's a lovely seat. This is actually a new seat. 1.6. So, yeah, we're still in Jorgo Park, Jorgensen Park. Um, we took a little while to get through because we're chatting away to people. Um, there's a lot of people who walk their dogs in that through here. It's just such a beautiful park. Um, I actually grew up in this area and been a lot of time running around and I was saying to Heather that I actually did a lot of cross-country running through this park um, which is just beautiful I, I do love it up here now um, this is the point where we have some beautiful views so the seat is in a very good spot to um, sit for a minute and just have a look at the views and this is what you need to do um, when you're hiking take these opportunities it doesn't matter that we've walked less than two kilometers this is an opportunity just to take in where we are and what it is that we're looking at so I'm going to show you some of the views um, the cloud is overcast today we haven't had rain forever oh actually we had some rain a few weeks back quick freak storm that whizzed through but um, yeah so it's supposed to rain all weekend um, and just sitting here, I'm noticing there's a couple of pink and grey sitting up in the tree watching over us. The, the trees are whispering. And it's just beautiful. We could probably just camp here. 
I know it's not. We haven't got very far. Yeah, we're still in proximity of beer. <laughs> we could put the phone call in. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We'd like to order beer. <laughs> Uber Eats. <laughs> Uber beer. Hey, there's a business idea, people. Okay, so enough of that. Let's have a look at the views. This is the great thing about hiking, especially when, you know, we're still farting around. We're trying to leave Kalamunda here. We're still in <laughs> Jorgo Park. Um, but you meet so many people and you do tend to spend a lot of time yapping away. Um, and, and what a lovely group of young people. Fantastic. Awesome. They're, they're getting into um, one of them. What was their March? March, March. March, March. March, March, March. A March challenge. So I will actually put the link in below. Um, yes, yeah, so it's to help with cancer research. Yeah, and so her name's Kat. She's doing 150 kilometres during the month of March to raise money for cancer. Yeah, yeah. so uh, that's impressive. Yeah, I'm pretty happy to have met her. Yeah, and awesome. her companion. swearing and cursing at me a little while ago as she was coming down the rocky bits like how the hell did you walk down there <laughs> what's really funny is because I'm so much taller than her let's show everyone the height difference okay she's a little short ass look at her I'm a little shorty good things come in small packages seriously and when we're walking along in the deep forest sections she laughs at me because I have to climb down and get under everything and she just walks through like and she thinks that's hilarious. When, when we have to climb over a log, I'm laughing because I can step over it and she actually physically has to crawl over it. So yeah, it has its bonuses. On this trail, we have to make sure we're on the bib. So you always got to keep an eye out for these warbles. And they're the directional signpost with the snake, the serpent on there. And that shows us that we've got to go this way. Now this is the point where Heather misses this one. She always misses this one and she goes up that way until she realizes that she's gone the wrong way and she's come back. But because she's with me, she's got it this time. Woohoo! So yeah, they're sneaky. Sometimes they just appear and you don't realize if you're not paying attention. So you should always pay attention. If you don't see one after about 200 meters, stop and have a look around and keep an eye out and think about whether, you know, you need to go back a little bit but always keep an eye out. So we're actually coming up to the famous camel farm on the bib track. Now, you'll come across this on day one. This is also where the Kalamunda circuit is for all the mountain bikers. Um, there's also camel ride here. 
see a lot of mountain bikers, hikers, um, there's a broad path. Hi. Yeah. So as you can see, the track continues along there. And this here is the camel farm, which is always a great stop, a refreshing stop. Get yourself a cold drink, a cup of coffee, something to eat. Still got another four Ks before you hit camp, but um, yeah, well worth it. out on the bit for example you come across these signs you see that and you go woohoo we've made it to camp camp is up this way so we're gonna go out there for a little bit have a drink cool off see how Heather's faring shouldn't be too far behind um, and then whether we continue on or not so yeah let's go up to camp hey this one's Hewitt's Hill which is the very first camp you'll find on the boob track. South Ledge tonight which isn't too far away from here South Ledge is actually on this hill bit over here but um, yeah so you can see the weir there I'll zoom in. okay so we're just at South Ledge now. Uh, I'm going to go out to the lookout a bit later, but I'm going to set up camp. This isn't an official campsite, and whether you're allowed to camp out here, I don't know. Um, but you know, if you do, 
just be smart leave no trace um, there are picnic tables here there are actually fire pits there is a toilet down the end there drop toilet um, so you know they're set up like campgrounds um, so they're good little spots so there's the fire pit I usually put my tent just down down through there so it's not visible but it's a nice little clearing yeah it's just a lovely little little camp spot so yeah this is where we're gonna stay the night and then it's three case the pub hotel tomorrow for breakfast which sounds like a plan so this is South Ledge, it's just about 300 metres away from the car park and where the toilet book is and the track comes down here and the bib track continues off that way towards the weir this is the lookout um, it's absolutely gorgeous, you can see the Mundaring weir right there <laughs> 